Hello Stampers. My name is Linda Bedinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Denver, Colorado. And, <laughs> and this wiggly character down here is my buddy Puccini who keeps me company in the craft room and uh, generally causes trouble. <laughs> and we have uh, the paper pumpkin alternatives for you today. And uh, it's a lovely kit. Lots of really fun items. And so let's just get started. Okay, this month's paper pumpkin is called All the Little Things. And it is um, uh, was meant to put together nine cards, three different designs, and then there was a gift inside this time, and it was these dividers, and I've left my shaded spruce um, uh, ink spot in there so that you could see. This thing makes, um, to fit right inside the paper pumpkin box, and I think these would stack too high, they would, and so you have this little storage facility here to store some of your your ink spots um, and I think what I would do with this one because I have another display for mine is my uh, duplicates might be very interesting in here because over the years uh, paper pumpkins been going on for 10 years now and uh, sometimes you get uh, a duplicate of something and this would be a great way to store them without taking up space in my regular storage. Anyway, I wanted to show that to you and it works pretty well. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, and the paper pumpkin this time, and all of a sudden I can't find my flyer, um, but uh, had really interesting material in it. And I have quite a bit of the material left um, this was one of the bases uh, that used a top folding card. Then there was three white bases that were just plain white. And then there was a pink base. There was one that had kind of a graduated coral um, color on it. And I used, I think, all of them. Um, so I'll be able to show you in the card what that one looked like. And as is the case, I have a ton of material left over. Uh, these beautiful sheets were very interesting to me. Um, they punch out. So this is, there's negative space and this goes over a card front. I used one of these to make all of my cards um, and I just cut leaf systems out. I cut pieces off here and here and used different sprays of these leaves uh, to do different things on my cards. And so I have two of these left. Um, and these were the main look of the flowers this time. And they're foiled. They're beautiful. Um, and they've got corals and just different um, strengths of coral. And then it's got shaded spruce and granny apple. And then there are these stems. Of course, I cut mine all apart, so mine don't look anything like they used to. Um, these little circles. There was just quite a bit of material in here. And the envelope itself is gorgeous. The envelope is this. So I made one card using this piece as the base. And then I used some of this material here as well. So let me just get sh started showing you what I did with the kit. And that'll inform us about all of the pieces. Now, the stamp set itself, I just had my hands on it, right here. And the stamp set um, has uh, this little berry uh, branch. It's got this big speckles, this little flower. And then the sentiments say, with deepest sympathy, enjoy your day. I'm grateful for all the little things you do and celebrate today. Nice little stamp set to have in your stash. Okay, so I'm going to set those aside. And I made five cards this time. You had uh, early espresso and uh, calypso coral cord that came with this as well. And then some iridized rhinestones. Let me show you the cards that I made. Um, 
and I honestly don't remember what the ones in the kit look like. <laughs> but this is that graduated front base that I told you about. So I took one of those big branches that they gave us and I used Calypso Coral and I used uh, Early Espresso and put this across. Thanks so much came from a different stamp set. Right now I can't remember which one it is. Um, but I'll put it up on the screen for you. Uh, and this was my card number one. And this is what I did on the inside. Very simple. But I thought I used these rind big rhinestones up here. And they kind of pick up the coral. And um, very simple. A little, a little early espresso bow down here at the bottom. So that is my card number one. Then uh, this one, I stamped that... Um, uh, berry branch all underneath this one and this is the one that I used that was the envelope front and so I used cut that out four by five and a quarter and then I used a little piece of um, uh, balmy blue here I think it's about three quarters of an inch by four to just go across here this paper is very thin and I felt I wanted something to hold it down and so I put that piece on it then out of the envelope top, what I did was I used my two inch circle punch and I cut one big circle and as much of another circle as I could get and put them on top of each other such that you couldn't see that the second circle wasn't complete. And then put that here to give a different pattern in the blue and then laid a piece of one of these, probably this piece right up here on this side, because this cut apart makes a whole bunch of stuff. And um, then I took the single, uh, I think these are peonies, I'm not positive, but that's what they look like to me, and put the single peony so that it went off the circles here and put I'm grateful for all the little things you do. On the inside, you can see on this one, there's all these little branches here, here, here. Um, and where I just used this, I took some of these things off. And I'll show you what I did with them. It's kind of fun. Um, and so one of them I put here. And then this was a punch out and put that little sprig in on there. And that is my card number two. This one I just love. Um, and it was where I took that leaf thing that I showed you and cut apart and then just put it up because it was right on the edge so put it back on the edge of this piece and that's more of that envelope paper celebrate today and I took a couple of those flowers as though they were growing on that greenery used a little piece of coral and then this was just something that came in and I thought made a cute decoration there with some of those rhinestones and then on the inside on this one I put enjoy your day and stamped a few of the of the little flowers on the inside and that is my card number three now this one was the top folding card and I thought it was such a serene looking thing what I did was I took some of one of these big green leaves and put it here and a couple of others and put them behind here and cut out this big peony, put it up in the corner, and then just with my blending brush and the shaded spruce, this was a piece of white. And I put with deepest sympathy and I thought that made a beautiful sympathy card. Just very, very simple. And on the inside, I used the smaller peony and some of the leaves with a shaded spruce background. And that is my card number four. Now, my card number five is just a hodgepodge. <laughs> I took another piece of that envelope paper. Since you get nine envelopes, um, you can make quite a few that have this, this envelope and you can get crazy with the stamping and, and do different things. And uh, since the leaves, some of the leaves had granny apple, I stamped that sprig stamp in granny apple. I stamped the speckles in balmy blue, which is the color on the envelopes. 
and I stamped some of these little flowers in the coral just to give myself a bit of a background. And then these little flowers are separate and these little ones came off of places like this. That is this one. That little piece there is this. Um, in fact, this is this one. <laughs> so on several of these pieces that they gave you, there was just these odds and ends that were there. So I ended up with having cut them off to do different things, like to put this up here. So I went ahead and made a little frame out of that envelope uh, paper and just put it on my trimmer and in a half an inch and over a half an inch, I started my blade and went across to a half an inch from this side and then the same thing down here and here and just cut out this little window and made a frame. Put just a note on here, a little bit of linen thread and I what I started out with uh, just a several of these little pieces laying on my desk where I was trimming away to, to use some of the simpler things. And uh, I had started to stamp this top and they were laying on top of it and it, it, that's where I got the idea. It was just, just so much fun. So I just kept going um, and cut those out and I just loved the way it came out. It's a real cheery little card. And then on the inside, I did the reverse put the piece of envelope paper on the outside, a piece of white, and this one is like four and three quarters by um, three and a half, so that I could get this big border, and it's kind of the reverse of this in the inside, and just one little flower on the inside. And so that is my card number five. I had a lot of fun with this kit, and like I said, I've got a ton of material left over that I'll use to either decorate notebooks or make some more cards. Um, I think this one would be a really lovely gift set for someone. Um, you could put all four or five of these cards with envelopes in a little box and put a ribbon around it. And we've got a sympathy. We've got just a note. Thanks so much. Uh, again, grateful. And maybe a, a birthday. You could always put a birthday stamp on any of these. Um, but I thought because they kind of connect because of these beautiful flowers on this, um, that would make a, make a fun and interesting gift set for someone. Um, so that is my project for the day. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. Uh, I do so appreciate it. Uh, I wanted to mention that um, I still have kits for sale and cards for sale on my blog. Um, and I will be putting up some more kits uh, in the next week um, of some of the cards I've made more recently. And so there will be new kits up and we're almost sold out on a couple more of them, uh, which I will mark and start taking some down. Um, and I am uh, getting ready to uh, announce my uh, online card class again. I haven't done one for a couple of years and I'm going to use one of the new stamp sets out of the uh, new catalog um, and I will have details up on my blog later this week about restarting that. In fact, I've got an email going out right now to people that have taken that online card class for me. It's a little different than, it's def definitely different than kids because you get a half a package of paper um, and depending on the way you take advantage of it, you can get the stamp and die set, you can get the half a package of paper, you get all of the materials you may need to make eight cards, um, you get a video, you get a PDF. Uh, it's quite elaborate and um, the stamp and die set I just pass along at Stampin' Up's price. Um, and uh, so uh, details, the actual page to sign up for it is up, um, but uh, uh, I'll be putting a blog post describing a little bit more what I'm going to be doing. Um, and I have a prize every month, uh, and you put yourself in the prize drawing by placing an order of any size on my store, lbedinger.stampinup.net, and you can get to it through my blog, www.inkandingenuity.com. 
Well, that's it for me, and I'll be back soon with more cards, more projects, and more tips. Bye!